Okay, I tried to make this video a thousand times and I, I just can't get it right, but I'm just going to cut right to the chase. We don't know how to deal with the devil. I think there's this big misconception, big misunderstanding of, of what it really is. And theoretically, spiritually, psychologically, the devil can teach you things about yourself that you cannot find anywhere else. And a lot of what we're controlled by and possessed with is by this negative force. But from the very beginning, we're told to never listen to it or show it love or give it attention or empathy or compassion. We don't, we don't show it any attention. And when you don't show the deeper and darker parts of you any attention, we create this gap, this separation. And this gap, this separation is between the light and the dark, the yin and the yang, the positive and the negative, the God and the devil. We create this gap. So if you look at God and the devil as like a human element, you may tend to believe that they're competing for like power or who's in charge or who means good and who means bad. But there is no such thing. That's just a belief. There is no right. There is no wrong. There is no good. There is no evil. There's not. There's just energy. There's positive and negative energy. But when you tend to overlook and neglect the deeper and darker parts of you, sometimes we are never truly fulfilled. We're never truly aligned with our true inner power. But the devil can drag you down this journey where you learn different characteristics and parts about you that you were shaming and things that you were throwing hate upon and things that were really testing you and just things that you couldn't look at before. You, you're faced to look at it and it's like this lightning bolt hits you and once the lightning bolt hits you, you're exposed to the truth. You're exposed to what you're fearful of, what you're controlled by, what you're possessed with. And once you've been highlighted, whatever fear that is, you no longer become fearful of it. And when you're no longer fearful of it, you're no longer controlled by it. And basically what you awaken to is what was trying to get your attention this entire time was your shadow, was the negative side to you, the things that were controlling you. But since we were never really aware of it before, we kind of took everything for granted. So the devil tried to scream more in your face, more in your life, creating a lot of turbulence and chaos and adversities and setbacks and misfortunes to try to get you to understand that we're giving into things that are not very pleasant, things that are controlling us, things that we feel like we're responsible for, but we're not necessarily responsible for. The devil teaches you how to, how to harness that sense of courage and confidence and strength to overcome adversity and challenges and everything that you were telling yourself and how you were mistreating yourself and manipulating yourself and allowing people to manipulate you and control you. You wake up to all of that, but somebody's got to drag you down that path. Somebody's got to drag you down that dark world. And what you see is basically what is. And what is is just is. It just, it's basically just what it is. There is, no, there is no changing it. It's just all in how you respond and how you react to it. But the neat thing about this is when you've, when you've able to overcome adversity and challenges, when you get to that other side, there's a new character. There's a new energy that you tap into. You become interconnected to this divine force. And what you were previously neglecting and not really cherishing, you begin to look at it with a sense of gratitude and grace and empathy and love and joy. Which is like the universal currency to getting anything that you desire. But this whole time we may have been neglecting the deeper and darker parts of us. And when we face adversity in these darker times, in these darker emotions, we don't really know how to navigate through it. Because we've been taught to look away from it. But the devil inside of you is just a darker energy. When you learn how to befriend it by showing it love and compassion, you can learn how to manipulate it. When you learn how to manipulate the deepest and darkest force, which is fear, you can transcend that. When you transcend fear, you're no longer stuck in the fear paradigm. You're no longer controlled by fear. What was controlling you, you are now in control of. The greatest currency is positive energy. It's very hard to promote and provide positive energy and flourish when you're consumed with fear. Where is fear mainly promoted? In the devil. In the darker aspects of things. And when you tend to mistreat it and not understand it, you tend to not understand yourself and mistreat yourself. There's a lot of 
deeper things inside of us that we have yet to discover. But they're deep and they're dark and they're scary. We don't know what we're going to find. So we look away from it. So we're never truly fulfilled. We're never truly satisfied. And I think what everybody's really looking for is content, contentment inside of them. Stability, peace, happiness, love. And where all of that's really found is not where most people look. But it's pretty interesting because the areas that most people don't look in, if you decide to become curious and invest and, don't, and, 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 and jump inside where most people don't go, you find what most people don't find, which can change your life. But it comes with a little bit of sacrificing and overcoming a lot of fears. But who's in charge of fear? The devil. The devil's in charge of fear, but you've been told not to look at it. Not only have you been told not to look at it, there's a sense of conditioning and programming where not necessarily we become addicted to fear, but we tend to believe almost everything outside of us. And a lot of it has to do with fear. And when we're consumed and controlled by fear, it's very hard for your brain to think outside of the box. It's very hard for your imagination to explore because it's controlled by fear. It's like you're in a, a survival type of mode, this fight or flight mechanism. And it's very hard to find that inner connection because we don't really know how to navigate through the darkness because we're not truly connected. But what the devil awakens you to is how to harness that power. And everything that was taken from you, you absorb that back. All of the lessons, everything that you were controlled by, these, these karmic cycles and repetitive behaviors, you learn how to transmute that by manipulating the dark side, combining and intertwining the yin and the yang, the dark and the light. God and the devil, they're the same thing. But we've been told otherwise. And sometimes we just tend to believe it. And for me, it just didn't make sense. Because if everything is unconditional love, if we live in a world where there's true unconditional love, right? The devil has to bring some type of love to it, has to have some type of meaning. It can't just, there can't just be a force that is greater than us that just is out to kill us. That could, it really wouldn't make sense. It teaches you how to appreciate this positive world, the world that, that God offers. Because when you don't appreciate it, you live life very blindly, not curious. You don't appreciate what's in front of you, like a, like a family and a roof over your head and food in your stomach and everything that you have, everything you're provided with. You don't show a sense of gratitude and an inner understanding for other people's pain and suffering and what they have and you know what they have gone through so anybody who mistreats you or anybody who throws negativity your way we're very quick to just jump back with with anger not really understanding the place that that person's in but i think like i said a lot of us don't understand that everybody's just battling a game that we don't even know that we're partaking in but that that game is internal it's overcoming the devil inside of you, overcoming the fears inside of you. But when you learn how to really walk with it and dance with it, you become in true alignment because you're no longer ignoring it. You're paying attention to it. You're welcoming it, but you're no longer welcoming it with hate and negativity. You're showing it love and compassion. That's all it's seeking. That's all it wants. And the person you, you, know, you become, the wisdom you've been, you're able to learn from, man, everything is placed in that world. But most people don't want to look there because we've been told otherwise. The big bad monster needs to walk with you so you can understand it. Because once you understand that, you relay things that you have learned. And a sense of compassion and gratitude for others. And you become so connected with relationships and how to treat people because you know what it's like to be stepped on. You know what it's like to have that negativity inside of your head where you can't escape. So you show people with so much positivity and love because you know what it's like to suffer. The devil has to make you suffer so you learn to appreciate the other side. But a lot of us don't realize that we have a dark side to us. That we have a negative world to us. And if you welcome it with love and compassion... You transcend 
You transcend the biggest battle of them all, which is the battle with yourself. And people really can't tell you about you because you've been able, you've been able to overcome the biggest battle of them all, which is you, man. And things that were once controlling you, you're no longer controlled by because you have the power now. The power is ran with the devil. And when your back's against the wall, he's still going to be the first one to drag your hand. But you can't question it. He will get you out of where you were at. Everything's meant to teach us, man. That's it. And I think there's just big misunderstanding because when you don't understand the darker parts of you, you're not really, you don't really know who you are to the core. And I think it's really all about learning to combine them because you need both to survive and to live a true fulfilling life. My personal opinion. All right. I love you guys. And please just welcome the darker sides of you with love and compassion because what you seek is within. And where we typically don't look is where the answers are typically found. The question is, will you have the courage to be able to step forward? Because the more that you continue to walk forward, you will be provided. The more you're provided with, the more you continue on your journey. And the more that you discover, the more courage and strength and confidence and you you figure out who you are at the deepest level. And it's just it's a it's a miracle, man. It's something that I think needs to be taught. Seriously. Because it all comes back to energy. And you balance both, you intertwine both. You'll be surprised at how your life starts to turn out. Alright? I love you guys and peace and love.